special natural hair journey episode of Claire Hair. I can't wait to share you guys. That's not even a word. I can't wait to share my journey with you guys. I've been talking and ghosting about this for a while, but I really want to make sure that I can come on here and tell you guys where I started from, my frustration. So I'm going to be talking here and there. Um, and definitely tell me like what parts of my journey that you like the best. And then definitely tell me like your experiences as well. Let's get started. Let's go back in time. From when I first started my natural hair journey in 2014. Somewhere in the late 1900s. Just playing. Um, this was actually a little bit too far. Let's fast forward a little bit. Aha, here, here's high school. This is when I had my relaxer in. Um, definitely paper thin, it's giving loose leaf. It's giving loose sleeve, wide ruled, college ruled paper. Um, definitely my relaxer days. I definitely was feeling myself that day. Now this is when I was transitioning. So this one, I did curling rods. I think this was the last time curling rods actually worked for me, but this is when I was transitioning and I didn't want to do the big chop yet. So this is when I went in. <laughs> Um, I had a relaxer and I had to cut all my ends off. Yes, I used to wear color contacts. Don't come for me. Um, but definitely here, as you can see, this was my curl slowly coming in. I ended up big chopping because the two textures was just so stressful for me. And I feel like my hair wasn't growing as fast. And then this is the big chop. I look like somebody's daughter. I am. <laughs> but I look like somebody's daughter here. I was so stressed with this haircut. Because I was like, my head is too small for this haircut. Haircut. This is a six months difference. Um, I can definitely say for sure. I don't know if it's like a little theory of mine. But for some reason, those first six months, your hair just grows so fast. I don't know if it's like the shock of being cut. This was a photo shoot I did. OMX was definitely the photographer on there. So definitely hit him up if you want some quality pictures. His little logo's in the bottom right hand corner. But this was me at six months. This was just like a breakthrough for me, in my opinion. And then right here, I think this was when I finally got my twist out to hang. I feel like there's a certain length that, for natural hair at least, I think you have to hit about eight inches or something. This was after a year. I think you have to hit eight inches before your hair can actually hang. I know what I'm trying to say. Um, this was after a year of growth. Um, I didn't really have my hair routine down yet. This was a year. I didn't really have my hair routine down. I felt like I was mostly just experimenting with what uh, was gels and like which ones work. This was like my first curling rod using the horseshoe method by Miss Curl Dash. I think it was Curl Days. Yes. <laughs> um, and then here was like my first successful one year difference. I feel like I started like getting, picking up steam like in that third year. And then I'm just gonna go back to reiterate, this was uh, six months later. I don't know what I was eating, <laughs> but I don't know what I was doing. My hair was just growing so fast. I don't know if you guys have it, definitely leave a comment below. Um, but yeah, for some reason that first year, like my hair was just growing so much. And I feel like I definitely hit a plateau about three year three or four. But this is the last time I was able to do this with my hair. And now my hair is too heavy to do this <laughs> all the way straight up. But um, people were calling me Jackson 5 at work. It is what it is. Um, but I think I put this on here twice because I really wanted to know what was I eating? What was I doing? Because this is literally six months difference. Um, and this was around year three. I had, I think my actual like curly hair bang phase did not last as long as I wanted it to last because I was so upset and this is my first braid out that I did where my hair actually listened and behaved I think it was um I think it was just really cold that season <laughs> um this is my first time I actually got to see the definition of what my hair um, texture was because I thought my hair was 4c at first because, you know, like I said, I was just so misinformed and so ignorant about hair types. And this is when I learned about shrinkage. I was so upset because one thing that pisses me off is when you sit there and do a whole hairstyle and humidity gives you the hairstyle they want. Well, this is my first time working out with my hair out why I went to the gym. I know that doesn't really make any sense to y'all, but it was really like a big thing for me to work out with that. Um, this was As I Am Gel um, curling, curling Jelly. This is the first time I could see my hairs like actually moisturize. And then this was a... I want to say this was from a curling. This is the cold wave rods or whatever. Like I really thought that was really cute. And then I'm going to go back to this picture as well. Um, I really felt like 
I don't know how to describe it, but like I really feel like I was actually doing something because that awkward length when it's under six inches, that's about eight inches, this is about 10 inches. Um, what is that? The only reason why I know these things, not because I'm a stalker, um, because I stalked my hair <laughs> and I stalked it well. Because this was, um, I think this was like after, this was like year five or six. But I used to stalk my hair. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I definitely stalked my hair. I wanted to make sure, <laughs> I wanted to make sure every inch was accounted for, everything was this, everything was that. Um, I feel like that made my natural hair journey as well much uh, taxing on me because I was stalking myself. Um, yeah, this is another one that I was just really just stalking my hair at one point. And then um, I think I kind of had picked it out a little bit or whatever. But this was like the last time I like I blew my hair straight, straight. I haven't really done my hair like in like a full on blowout like that because I don't want the damage. Um, this was my first successful wash and go. And I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what I did. I think I, it was just I think I used. I don't even know what I used. <laughs> I don't even know what I used. I wanted to say I used Gorilla Snot and I think I used cold air or something. But my hair was actually really really on point and this was a braid out i think this was like i want to say this was like 2018 it was a couple of years back um but the thing about it is just that like me personally like my hair journey <laughs> like my hair journey i feel like i was like kind of like becoming from a girl to a woman but um that was like year five and then this was christmas um this was like a twist out that i worked hard on and then it just shriveled up i was so upset but Apparently everybody loved my hair. I was so upset. Um, and then this was, I want to say this was like year six almost. And this was once again, another twist out that shriveled up. And then this was like year five. This was another twist out that shriveled up for some reason. I live in Florida. I don't know what it is, but it was, it just does not listen to me. And this was actually after a photo shoot I had did. And um, this was, like I said, the curly bang season only lasted for so long. I was so upset because I feel like I didn't even get to enjoy it. It's like my my front of my hair was short enough for bangs and then it grew out. <laughs> I was so upset, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for joining me on my journey. And don't forget, one big chop or one transition. And you can transition your natural hair. Don't forget to subscribe, share. It's Claire Hair. Thank you.